Crypto Caesar, Caesar Capital, hope you're well. It's the 20th of January, 2024, and we are going to have a look at the markets. Um, okay, let's look at Bitcoin on the weekly. Now, a lot of people are concerned about Bitcoin at the moment, getting a little bit bearish, which is bizarre, really. Are we due a correction? Yes, of course, we're due a correction. And if you look at my last video on Bitcoin, you'll see I go through the possibilities of correction, and we'll have a look at what that correction might look like uh, today, but we'll we'll discuss a few things first. There's no reason, in my view, to be bearish uh, at the moment. 2024 looks super, super bullish for uh, crypto. And I'll tell you why. Uh, first, uh, we've just had 12 uh, ETFs approved. Okay, That is going to bring a huge amount of money into the crypto space that wouldn't usually come into the crypto space. Okay, I mean, BlackRock have already bought up over a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Yes, there's going to be uh, grayscale selling uh, some, but that will just level itself out over the next few weeks um, and it will be fine. OK, so we've got these huge asset manager firms coming into the space. Huge amounts of money are going to be flowing into Bitcoin. That's the first bullish reason. The second bullish reason is in about 90 days or so time. We're going to have a halving event, okay? And that means the block reward is going to be halved and the miners will only be able to mine half the amount of uh, Bitcoin. As it stands, um, the miners can, on average, mine about 900 Bitcoin per day, okay? Now, come April, in 90 days' time or so, um, they will only be able to mine 450 Bitcoins a day. And if you think about the amount of Bitcoins that BlackRock and others are buying at the moment on a daily basis, there is going to be a huge supply shock, which will in turn mean uh, that the price will go up probably a lot. OK, so firstly, we have the ETFs. Secondly, we have the halving. Then we've got um, a Federal Reserve who are going to have to um cut interest rates at some point this year. That's also uh, something bullish. And then we have a US general election, which is always um, historically and seasonally being bullish uh, for uh, risk on assets. So, you know, we've got four significant bullish things. We've got the ETFs, we've got the halving, we've got the interest rate cuts, and then we've got the US election. And on top of that, you know, we are now in the bullish part or the, the first bullish part of a cycle. So, you know, there is everything to be bullish about uh, at the moment. So I've got absolutely no concerns. Is there going to be a correction? Yeah, of course there's going to be a correction. Nothing goes up in a straight line. But, you know, you've got to par the course. You've got to think about things in a bit of a longer time frame. And you've got to zoom out and think, where are we going and what's happening this year? And once you do that, you'll probably quickly come to the conclusion that, things look pretty bullish, right? In fact, they look more than bullish. They look super bullish. Anyway, let's have a look at the chart. So this is Bitcoin on the weekly, okay? And we can see um, that Bitcoin has essentially tapped the 786. This is something I called probably around about a year ago, okay? Pretty much a year ago. I said, Bitcoin is going to come up like it always has done and tap the 786 like it always has done in all um, other uh, cycles, you know? I mean, you know, it's it was pretty obvious uh, that that may happen. Here, this was the last cycle, 786, cycle before it, came up, hit 786, bit of a sell-off, okay? So historically, that's happened. So I thought, that was likely to happen again because Bitcoin's a very cyclical asset and it likes to move uh, like that. So, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a cough. We, so we've hit the 786. Now the question is, where are we gonna go from here, okay? Now, the, the obvious um, first level of support is around the 618, which is just below at 39K, okay? So that's also confluent with this kind of area here and here, which acted as support right in the last part of the bull run um, of around about, you know, 40K or thereabouts, okay? So we've got a horizontal area of support confluent with the 618, okay? So that would be, for me, the first obvious area of support. The question is, can Bitcoin hold that? I think if Bitcoin can hold this sort of area here for, say, 
up to a month, I think that that would show significant strength. And as it stands, even though there is epic selling going on with GBTC from Grayscale, the other uh, ETF providers are pretty much buying that up and holding the line, okay? So things as it stands, they look pretty solid, okay? Could we drop lower? Absolutely. And the next area of um, support is this area here, which I've been going on about for absolutely almost a year now. Well, not a year, sorry, since sort of April 23, so almost a year. And it's this area here, okay, which was once resistance. Okay, so we've got this area of support back in January 21. Then it was in summer 21, it held a support. Uh, and then it became uh, resistance for us in April, resistance for us in July, and then we broke through it in October. And this is around about 30k or uh, or so, I mean, 31k or so. Now, that is also confluent uh, with uh, the five zero. Let's put that in round about there. So, you know, we've got this fib here, we've got horizontal support here. And this area, as I've said in my previous videos, this will be a hugely heavily defended area. 30 to 31k will be heavily defended. So the two obvious areas of support are either here at 40k or here at 31 30k. Now, if Bitcoin does drop <clears throat> below uh, this area of support and it breaks below it, uh, then you know it, it's naturally going to try and go down towards this way. But you might get a lot of people trying to front run this area of 31k, and it might end up coming, you know, and leveling out around about the 34, 36k area, which is kind of around this trend line here. You know, if it drops down to here. It's going to take some time. Let me just get rid of all that rubbish and I'll put it on there so you can see it properly. So we've got this trend. Line. I mean, I don't really like diagonal trend lines, but, you know, when there's a little bit of confluence, it kind of makes sense. So if Bitcoin were to break down from the 31, uh, sorry, the 40K area, going to take some time. You know, maybe it'll hit here, maybe 30, 36K or so. That That kind of makes sense to me as well. But at the end of the day, you know, <clears throat> there are going to be uh, corrections along the way. And the big question is, is, is this is this correction over now or are we going to correct uh, further? OK, uh, hang on a moment. So as it stands, we have pulled back 17.5 percent, which, to be honest, is around about the ballpark. It might actually be a little bit more than that. Let's measure that again. It's around about the ballpark of um, a decent uh, correction for Bitcoin. So yeah, 17.8%. So you know that is in the ballpark. So it's quite possible that this uh, correction that has happened uh, uh, is it, okay? And we are gonna hold this area, but it's yet to be seen. It's gonna take some time. And what would be really bullish for me is that we just hold this area as, as support into sort of you know end of february time beginning of march time uh just before the halving that would be super super bullish but you know don't worry if if we do break down because we've got this spartan area of support at 31k and to be honest i don't think it's going to go any deeper than that and then we've got this diagonal area of uh trend uh which it may just break down to there so about 36k so th th those are my areas. It's either going to be, we're going to hold a 40K, we might get to 36K, or we're going to go as deep as 31K, and I think that would be uh, it. But even if we were to go lower, down to about the 25K area, that would mean that the, all of this it is all of this would be still a bullish macro structure because we have a higher low, okay? But, you know, I don't think we're gonna, it's, it's going to get that deep. Anyway, let, let, let's take a look. Let's go back in history and have a look and see the sort of corrections that we have um, with Bitcoin in bull markets. OK, I mean, right back um, here. Uh, right. There's this one. This was right at the beginning of the, the parabolic move. There was a nice correction. What was the depth of that correction? The depth of that correction, 22%. So very sort of uh, similar to the depth of the correction we've had already. We had a correction here. What was the depth of that correction? 30%. So similar to what we've had uh, so far here. 
Uh, let's go back a bit deeper into history. Let's go back to sort of 2016 at the beginning of that run, because to be honest, I think that this, um, this sort of price structure looks more like the 2015, 2016 price structure. And let's have a look at those corrections, you know, back in 2016. So we had that one, the first one, which was about 24%. And we had this deep one. This was coming off the 786, fairly deep, 39%. Okay. Then we had this one here, 34%. Then we had another one here, 32%. So you get my drift, right? <laughs> you know, these are just normal. 37% in that last one. So these are quite normal. 30 plus percent corrections are quite uh, normal along uh, the way. So don't be freaked out by the fact that Bitcoin has dropped 37%. Don't listen to people like Capo, et cetera, who think that, you know, that's the end now. We're going to 12K. I mean, it's just bizarre to think like that, to think that we're going to 12K when we've just had 12 ETFs launched, we've got a halving event in 90 days, interest rates are likely to come down this year, and there's a US election. I mean, it's just it's utterly retarded to think that that, that, that might happen. Um, so as far as I'm concerned, I think we're looking good, okay? And, you know, I, I don't have any issues at all. So the roundup for this uh, video today is that we've got this area here of 40K, it would be nice for Bitcoin to hold that, would just be super bullish, and then move out towards close to the halving. Or, you know, we're going to come down and test this 31K area. There's the possibility of 25K. And also there's this diagonal trend, which might save us at about 36, 37K. So that's it. Okay. Nothing to be concerned about, everything to be bullish about. Um, if you want to join the group, the VIP group, check us out on our website, send me an email through the website or DM us directly on Twitter and we will get you immediately in uh, to the group. I'm just about to drop uh, my uh, final document uh, for this bull run. As you know, I uh, wrote a 33 page research document on 10 altcoins that I was looking at that I think we're going to be uh, super bullish uh, this cycle. They're already up about 89% collectively. That's not bad given that we aren't even in an altcoin uh, mania cycle yet. And I am now about to drop seven further altcoins, um, wrapping it all up in a new document, which is about 12, 12 or so pages long, heavily researched over months. So Join the group, reach out to me on Twitter, or um, give me an email via uh, the website. Check out the website. Hope you have a good day and a good weekend, and keep it real, and I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye.